Hello there. Welcome to this video. Let's see how to apply advanced effects on 2D drawings and pictures with CorelDRAW X8. Please leave us feedback to improve our next guides. Inside CorelDRAW, you have several 2D effects you can apply to vector lines and pictures selected. Let's have a general overview on them. For basic editing, like moving, scaling, and rotating, use the Pick tool by working on the black nodes that appear on the object. If you want to edit the 2D line shape instead, you can use all the tools collected in the second button of the toolbox. The first tool is the Shape tool, which is used to edit the selected 2D shape by moving and editing its nodes and curves. Besides this tool, you have several 2D editing tools that you can apply on both 2D drawings and picture contours to edit their shape. Just remember that the image content will also be affected if you move the image contour on the picture itself. There are also other awesome tools collected all at the bottom of the toolbox, like Shadows, Blend, and Transparency. Drop Shadow is used to apply shadows on 2D drawings or pictures. Just click and drag on the object and release to drop the shadow. This is described by two squares, one white representing the full shadow transparency, and one black indicating the shadow color chosen. By default, this is black, but you can change it above on the property bar. Then, by moving the small rectangle in between, you can regulate the shadow transparency level, and by moving the colored square, you can change the shadow direction. If you move the white one, you will change the kind of shadow by changing the light direction. Use the property bar on top to adjust several shadow properties, such as Kind and Feather. Of course, the shadow shape depends on the object itself. If you have a closed path with no filling, its shadow will be defined by its 2D contour. If the object has filling, you will get shadow from both contour and filling. To remove any shadow applied, Select the shadow with the Pick tool, and then go to Clear Drop Shadow above in the property bar. The Contour tool applies a contour on an object with a constant distance or offset from it. The new contour is an effect, just like shadow, that you can remove by going to Clear Contour above. This tool does not work with images at all. The contour effect can be adjusted through its nodes. The distance between the black rhombus and the black square represents the offset. Move the white rectangle in between to add multiple contours. The Blend tool is used to add a transition that passes from an object shape to another, open or closed. All you have to do is click and drag from the first object to the second one. You can adjust the blend effect by moving either of the two objects through the white squares and regulate the transition by moving the blue double arrow in between. Always use the property bar to edit other settings or to remove the effect. Distort is used to distort the object as you like. Select how to distort it from the property bar, and then click and drag on the object. The more the white nodes are moved far, the stronger the effect will be. Moreover, move the small rectangle to regulate the effect, and the white rhombus to change the direction to follow. Through the property bar, adjust the effect, randomize it, smooth it, or change its direction. This effect can't be applied on pictures. 
The envelope tool is used to edit the object through its blue contour that fully contains it by moving its nodes and handles just like a path drawn with the pen tool. If you need more help, check out how to use the pen tool in the related video in this guide. There is also the Extrude tool that applies 3D extrusion on 2D objects, which can be either a line or a closed path. Check out our related video to know how to create and manage 3D objects inside CorelDRAW. Another important tool is the Transparency tool. Just click and drag on the selected object, which can be a 2D vector or an image. Three nodes will appear on it. The white and the black squares indicate the direction and the extension of the fade that goes from the white node to the black one. The white circle is used to change the fade direction. Use the small white rectangle in between to regulate the feather level. Plus, if you click on each square, you can decide the transparency percentage on each side of the fade. By default, the Transparency tool applies a gradient fade, also called Fountain Transparency. From the Property Bar or the Object Properties panel, you can also choose between a Uniform Transparency that applies the effect on the whole object, and a Vector Pattern or a Bitmap Pattern Transparency that applies transparency by following a pattern. In case you choose a pattern, a dashed contour appears showing the pattern extension. By editing this contour, you will change the pattern applied on the object. To remove any transparency instead, just choose No Transparency. In CorelDRAW, you can also apply advanced effects to adjust colors and perspective. Select the object with the Pick tool and then click on the Effects tab on top. Choose between Adjust, Transform, and Correction, and correct the colors of the 2D curves or the pictures through the dialog box that opens. To undo any effect, just use Ctrl and Z or right-click on the object. Use Add Perspective to add perspective by editing a contour, just as seen with the Envelope tool. You also have special adjustments and corrections you can apply to pictures under the Bitmaps tab, from Blur to Color Corrections. You can also transform a vector path into a bitmap and vice versa. To do so, select the vector object and go to Convert to Bitmap under the Bitmaps tab. Once transformed, you can apply any bitmap effect on such object. You can also convert the picture into a vector object in order to use all the 2D tools seen before. Just select the picture and go to Outline Trace under the Bitmaps tab. This opens the Power Trace dialog box used to adjust all the settings to define the vector objects that you need to render the original picture. Depending on the detail and the smoothing level chosen, CorelDRAW will use a different number of vector objects to render the picture, and so the final result will be different. Once it is rendered, you can apply all the 2D effects tools you like. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our full guide to become professional with CorelDRAW X8.